It's not easy to keep a video game franchise afloat. Unlike movies or TV, major titles in this industry are rarely outright retired, as they're inherently more malleable thanks to ever-changing technology. Keeping an audience's attention and interest for decades though, well, that requires hard work. Gamers are a dedicated lot, and if you hook them with lovable characters and detailed mythology, they'll always root for you, even in the wake of samey sequels or uninspired spin-offs. However, publishers are always looking to make franchises more mainstream to make more money, and that sometimes means introducing elements that lose the very essence of what made them special in the first place. When this happens, a reboot is in order, but even that's a risk. We've seen big names try this and fall completely flat. Cough, devil may cry cough, but sometimes franchises come through the other side better than ever. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game reboots that saved dying franchises. Number 10, Ninja Gaiden. When it comes to spectacle fighters, for my money, it doesn't get much better than Ninja Gaiden. Sure, it might only really be the original Xbox game and its sequel that reached the highest heights of the genre, but they were so good it made up for any missteps in the following years. They were so solid and so popular that you might not have even realized that they weren't the first Ninja Gaiden games, though. There were no fewer than nine titles released before that reboot in 2004, with the series launching all the way back in 1988 in the arcades and on the NES. Back then, it was a simple yet devilishly difficult action platformer, but it burned out quickly, with the final title of this era releasing only four years later in 1992. 12 years after that, and it was back for another short stint, better than ever. Number 9, Prey. Now this might be a contentious inclusion on this list. There'll no doubt be fans out there who think that the new iteration of Prey doesn't deserve to bear the name, and that the cancelled Prey 2 should have been seen through to release. However, while it is true that the original sequel looked great in pre-release trailers, which could have been totally unreflective of the in-development product, by the way, it's a fool's errand to compare a product that we have to something that just doesn't exist. From the focus on player choice to a sandbox environment that feels genuinely lived in and real, Arkane's take on the series is the kind of RPG you rarely get in the blockbuster space anymore, and it's a shame most players approached it like a regular first-person shooter. The foundations it built are solid, and it would be a tragedy if there isn't a sequel. 